Hey guys, welcome to Brick Vault. My name is Charlie, but I'm also known as Level Cap from my other YouTube channel, Level Cap Gaming, where we focus on Battlefield and other shooters. Today, I'm excited because we're going to be unboxing and building the LEGO Star Wars Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle. This set is recommended for ages 9 to 14. It's set number 75104, and it comes with 1,005 pieces. The minifigs in this set are particularly awesome. We have the First Order Officer, General Hux, Kylo Ren with his epic new lightsaber, a First Order Stormtrooper, which is the first time I'm gonna see this guy, and then we have two First Order crew members. This ship is kind of funny looking, actually. When the wings are fully extended, it looks a bit like a bat. Maybe we could uh, throw Batman in there for a little space adventure. Time to open up this bad boy and see what we got inside. First bag is bag number four. We got this cool looking instruction manual. Bag number six or nine. Bag number four. Bag number one and I can see the cool little stormtrooper helmet in there. Bag number two with lots of red parts. Didn't see any red on the box. Bag number five. Another bag number five. Bag number three, I see some heads rolling around in there. And bag number seven. All right, let's get down to business and see what this command shuttle looks like. We're done with bag number two and as you can see the main fuselage is starting to take shape and I can even see through the little windows on the front of the ship. So I just finished the build of this epic shuttle and it comes with a whole bunch of brand new minifigs. Let's check them out. Starting off we have the First Order Stormtrooper Officer. You can tell he's an officer because he's got the little red arm patch there. He's got a blaster rifle and the really cool looking new Stormtrooper helmets. I just love the look of the new Stormtroopers. Then we have a First Order Officer. She's got a gray top with gray pants, some white binoculars, and an interesting looking hat. She also has some pretty pouty lips. Then we have General Hux. He's got black pants, a black top with black gloves, and a black hat. He's got kind of a grimace on his face. He doesn't look particularly happy. Really excited to see what role he plays in the movie. Then we have two First Order crew. They have black pants, black torsos, an interesting looking hat that looks like it might catch a bit of water in the rain. They each have a blaster pistol. One has a white head with a grimace on his face and the other has a black head also with a grimace on his face. And last but certainly not least we have Kylo Ren, the new villain of the film and he's got an awesome looking lightsaber. I've never actually seen this piece on a lightsaber before. It's really cool and it makes him very distinctive. He's got cool looking black pants with a black top that kind of look like a robe. He comes with a shredded cape and a hood with a very cool head that has kind of this uh, metallic mask on it. He also has a separate headpiece that you can put on that is just the metallic mask on its own. I'm Kylo Ren and I have the coolest lightsaber ever. Uh, wait, wait one second there. I'm, I'm Darth Vader and I have a cool new lightsaber and it's, it's got three blades on it and it's totally original to me and I'm, I'm the new villain of this film coming out. Dude, that's, that's not even a lightsaber. That looks kind of like a candelabra. Nope, nope, it's totally a lightsaber and, uh, yeah, I don't, this Kylo Ren guy, he, he totally sucks. His lightsaber is super lame. 
Let's check out the shuttle and all of the awesome features. First of all, it's got a really cool cabin compartment that has plenty of room for minifigs. It's got weapon rack space on the walls and the actual cockpit chair itself looks really cool. In the back, we have a compartment that opens up where Kylo Ren can hang out and be shuttled around and it's even got a little weapon rack for his lightsaber. Underneath, we have a really cool flip down ramp that allows the officers and Kylo to walk off the shuttle in style. On each wing, we have two spring loaded missile launchers that fire green missiles, but by far the coolest feature are the wings that fold out when you crank the little lever on the back of the spaceship. This extends the size of the wings immensely, making the model going from medium size to pretty huge. Without question, this is one of the coolest sets I've built from the new Star Wars Force Awakens Lego sets that's come out. The spaceship goes from being very small to very big, which is a really cool feature, and it's also the only set where you can get the new Kylo Ren minifig. If you guys are interested in picking up this set for yourself, check the video description for a link to our Amazon store. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome set unboxing and building. So I'll see you guys next time and now I'm going to go play with my awesome new spaceship. Sup Kylo, now who's got the coolest lightsaber? Not you, it's me, Vader, the baddest Sith of them all. Uh, Vader, did you, did you just make a menorah lightsaber? I'm pretty sure that's a menorah. Uh, no, no, it's, it's just a really cool lightsaber. It's, it has nothing to do with menorahs and it's, it's the best lightsaber. I hate you, Kylo. <laughs>